hi everyone welcome back to sahab academy today in this eighth video of buyback chapter we are going to solve this illustration six from the ic study material which is a silent question they are just saying go for maximum buyback but the buyback price is given so we have to do all the three tests and calculate the maximum number of shares that we have to buy back right but that's not all there's also one more special thing over here at the end of the question here they are giving us two alternatives right and we also need to solve that along with the whole question right so we'll see how to do that and everything it's really simple and straightforward now let's just go through the question now see here perot limited a non-listed company has the following capital structure as on 31st march 2021 all right so here we have the capital structure equity share capital shares of rupees 10 each fully paid 10 is the face value and 330 crores is the total capital equity share capital so how many shares are there 330 divided by 10 33 crore number of shares okay 33 crores right reserves and surplus general reserve 240 which is a free reserve securities premium account 90 which is also considered as a free reserve in section 68 yes yeah profit and loss account balance 90 infrastructure development reserve this is not a free reserve this 180 now this is not a free reserve so in equity calculations and everywhere you will not consider this is that clear okay fine and then loan funds which is debt that's 1800 right 1800 crores fine the shareholders of perot limited on the recommendation of their board of directors have approved on uh, 12th september 2021 a proposal to buy back the maximum permissible number of equity shares maximum buyback okay uh, considering the large surplus funds available at the disposal of the company so we have the cash available no worries about that the prevailing market value of the company shares is rupees 25 per share that's a market price per share not buyback price okay this is market price per share and in order to induce the existing shareholders to offer their shares for buyback it was decided to offer at a price of 20 percent over the market price yeah you all know now nobody will sell their shares to the company if you know they are offering below the market price or at the market price is that clear because they will directly uh, sell in the market right so market price is 25 so of course the company has to give some premium over the market price and that is 20 percent 20 percent over the market price so it's really simple to calculate see here 25 uh, rupees is the market price into 1.2 right why 1.2 120 yeah 120 you're just increasing it inflating it by 20 percent so 1.2 so that's equal to 30 rupees so 30 rupees will be the buyback price if 30 rupees is the buyback price then then 10 rupees is the face value now so premium on buyback will be how much 20 rupees isn't it 30 rupees is the buyback price if 10 is face value 20 is premium on buyback right you all know that you're also informed that the infrastructure development reserve is created to satisfy income tax act requirements this gives you the perfect clarity that it is not a free reserve okay there is a special requirement of that reserve fine you are required to compute the maximum number of shares that can be bought back in the light of the above information and also under a situation where the loan funds of the company were either 1200 crores or 1500 crores so because of this sentence now you have three different questions okay in the first question is this yeah loan funds are 1800 and then second and third is what you have 1200 crores 1500 crores okay so you have to do test for all these three okay you have to do test for all these three three different questions you have now okay it's just that the difference is this the loan funds are changing just the debt figure is changing so understand understand it will not impact the resource test and shares outstanding test because in these two tests in these two tests there is no mention of any uh, debt right you are not using any debt just the equities right so that's why that's why it will not impact so you will be just doing this calculation this alternative calculation only in the debt equity ratio test don't worry i'm just giving you an overview right now you will practically see how it is done so yeah let's go to the solution now see here assuming that the entire buyback is completed by uh, 9th of December 2021 show the accounting entries in the company's book in each situation fine let's go to the solution and let's see how it is done it's really simple and straightforward now see here we have the solution first we have to do all the three tests resource test shares outstanding test and then the debt equity ratio test 
resource test and shares outstanding test are very simple you already know this yeah first here i have shown the buyback price calculation 25 rupees is the market price they told us 20 percent extra right so 25 into 120 percent you have to do okay because you need to take 25 also now then over that you need 20 percent so that's a, into 120 percent that's equal to 30 rupees fine and then resource test so in resource test what do you do you just take 25 percent of the existing equity that's all you do right so existing equity share capital in the uh, in the in the balance sheet i mean in this uh, statement here is how much 330 right so 330 okay free reserves is how much general reserve securities premium and pnl yeah 240 crores plus 90 crores plus 90 crores yeah 240 90 90 you will not take infrastructure development reserve because it's not a free reserve okay so that's equal to 420 right so 420 right 330 plus 420 let me just add uh, 330 over here so that's equal to 750 okay 750 is the total existing equity so you have to take 25 percent of that into 0 0.25 that's equal to 187.5 crores okay 187.5 crore rupees this is the money the maximum outflow that can happen the maximum resources you have for buyback now you have to convert this in form of number of shares because that's what we do in the tests okay we convert everything into number of shares so number of shares that can be bought back how will you do it this is the maximum outflow that can happen at what price at price of rupees 30 per share buyback price is rupees 30 so that by that logic you have to divide by 30 and you will get how much see here 187.5 divide by 30 that's equal to 6.25 crores okay 6.25 crore shares number of shares everywhere you will get answer in number of shares only and then only you will compare now the least of the three you have to take isn't it yes and then you have shares outstanding test which is really simple directly take 25 percent of outstanding shares whatever shares you have in balance sheet you already know how many shares do you have in balance sheet 330 is the total capital in form of rupees divide that by face value 10 you will get 33 yeah 33 so 33 crore number of shares so now 25 percent of 33 crore shares see here 33 into 0 0.25 that's equal to 8.25 crores number of shares okay that's the shares outstanding test and here i have written some notes just to uh, you know uh, quickly revise infrastructure development reserve is not a free reserve yeah that's why i have not taken over there change in loan funds will not impact resource test and shares outstanding test as we know in this question what is there at the end they have given us two other alternatives right we have two more question it's like that 1200 crores and 1500 crores two more questions so understand in those questions also in those alternatives also resource test will give you the same this answer and so will the uh, shares outstanding test 8.25 crores why is that so because because here you are not using the debt figure if debt figure is changing then it will not impact over here that's why really simple and straightforward okay now let's see the debt equity ratio test now see here we have the most important part of the question debt equity ratio test in this question what happened was in the main you know the capital structure they gave us the loan funds as 1800 and then below in the description they told us you have to solve this question in another situations yeah in other alternatives also that is when the loan funds are 1200 crores and uh, when the loan funds are 1500 crores okay so you have kind of three questions over here so this calculation only affects the debt equity ratio test and that is the most important part okay so here we are uh, doing it separately because the calculations are different right so we'll divide it in scenario one scenario two and scenario three scenario one will be 1800 scenario two will be 1200 and scenario three will be 1500 crores fine so let's start it's really simple in scenario one what's the debt 1800 okay shortcut method we are doing so see here target equity then we take target equity is half of that because you all know now how much uh, debt equity ra ratio should be there after the buyback two is to one maximum two is to one it cannot be more than that right so if debt is 1800 then target equity should be half of that then only it will be two is to one right so 1800 divided by two or into 50 percent you will get 900 and then existing equity how will you find existing equity you all know it's really simple equity share capital plus free reserves plus securities premium okay 330 
plus 240 plus 90 plus 90 that's equal to 750 750 is the existing equity you can also find this uh, in the resource test also yeah here we have already done this right so that's the existing equity now the main thing you have to understand over here see properly existing equity is 750 and target equity is 900 if you compare these two then you will easily understand we cannot go for buyback why is that so because if we go for buyback then what will happen to existing equity existing equity will reduce existing equity will reduce of course it will reduce some will go in crr and some will be uh, cancelled capital will be cancelled and extra premium will be paid yeah our securities premium will also fall so existing equity will reduce and if you compare target equity is higher than existing equity isn't it existing equity is already less than target equity so if we go for buyback existing equity will reduce even further and we cannot maintain debt equity ratio 2 is to 1 so that's why we cannot go for buyback in the scenario 1 simple and straightforward okay clear easy then let's come to scenario 2 in the scenario 2 the question has told us uh, you know assume uh, loan funds as 1200 crores and solve the question if it is 1200 crores then what happens if it is 1200 crores then understand understand it's really simple debt will be 1200 target equity will be half of that 600 crores right and then existing equity is same it will not change of course yeah 750 only now it's fine see here existing equity is more than target equity now you can proceed ahead with the testing okay here we stop now here you will not stop you will proceed ahead because it's right okay so the difference between 750 and 600 is of 150 now this is 150 this 150 is the maximum reduction that can happen in the existing equity to maintain 2 is to 1 debt equity ratio after the buyback that's the logic okay now how this reduction will happen why this reduction will happen because because we will transfer some free reserves to crr to replace the capital that has been bought back and cancelled and you know buyback will happen now because of buyback also we will ca cancel our capital and some extra money will be paid premium on buyback right so this is the maximum buyback okay because of buyback also right because of these two things so this 150 needs to be distributed in crr and maximum buyback but in what on what basis that's the main confusion over here that's the main question but we have some basis that basis is the ratio of face value and buyback price crr is based on face value and buyback happens at buyback price isn't it so we have that now in the question face value is rupees 10 buyback price is rupees 30 we'll use that ratio and distribute okay 10 is to 30 or you can say it's 1 is to 3 okay fine so in crr how much will go 150 is the maximum reduction into yeah the difference this one 150 into 10 divided by 40 that's equal to 37.5 crores okay that will go to crr and then 37.5 just subtract with 150 you will get uh, 112.5 crores okay or you can calculate 150 into 30 divided by 40 that's equal to 112.5 crores okay that's a maximum buyback now this is the uh what do you say in form of money in form of rupees you need number of shares answer so how will you convert in number of shares we always need number of shares answer the maximum number of shares that can be bought back it's really simple just take this maximum buyback amount 112.5 divided by the buyback price which is 30 rupees per share see here divide by 30 that's equal to 3.75 crores number of shares okay understood easy and then comes the scenario 3 scenario 3 is same like scenario 1 only here what's happening loan funds are 1500 okay 1500 see here 1500 so if debt is 1500 then the target equity will be half of that yeah 1500 divided by 2 that's equal to 750 <laughs> now what's happening it's not exactly same just that here there will not be any buyback see here target equity is 750 and existing equity is also 750 so both of them are equal target and existing are equal so even if they are equal you cannot go for buyback why because if you go for buyback then what will happen existing equity will reduce compared to target target equity 
and you cannot maintain 2 is to 1 debt equity ratio after the buyback. So that is why in scenario 3 also there will not be any buyback, no buyback. Existing equity is equal to target equity. Okay, simple and straightforward. I hope you have understood this, right? Now let's just compare now and select the proper maximum number of shares that can be bought back. How will we do that? It's really simple. We have to compare all the th all the three tests, right? Yeah. So see, you will need to uh, do a table properly. See here, statement determining the maximum number of shares to be bought back. Because here we have three different uh, scenarios, right? When loan fund is 1800 crores, 1200 crores and 1500 crores. So resource test says same. I told you now it will not impact. Let me show you once again. See here. Change in loan funds. Yeah, different different scenarios will not impact resource test and shares outstanding test. Therefore, in all the three scenarios, those two tests will give the same answer because here you have not used the debt figure, right? 6.25 crores in all the three scenarios, 8.25 crores in all the three scenarios. Okay, that's what we have over here. Resource test 6.25 crores in all the three scenarios and then shares outstanding test 8.25 crores in all the three scenarios. Okay, and then debt equity ratio test. Debt equity ratio test, yeah, these are all number of shares, huh? 6.25 crore number of shares. Yeah, all number of shares. Debt equity ratio test told you that in the first scenario, there can't be any buyback, zero. Okay, and then in the second scenario, it told you that you can do 3.75 crore number of shares of buyback. Okay, but in the third scenario, it told you no buyback, zero. Yeah, I'm just putting nil over here. That's what the ICI module has done. Okay, they have just put nil. Fine. So if there is zeros over here, right, then that's the least, isn't it? So that's why in the first and the second scenario, there can't be any buyback overall section 68. Okay, maximum number of shares that can be bought back, lowest of the three, yeah, the least of the three. So here the least is this, zero. Here also this, zero. But here the least is which one? 3.75 crores. Okay, simple and straightforward. So only second scenario is doable. Yeah, buyback can happen over here. So only second scenario you will solve. You will do the equation calculation and pass the general entries. Mainly pass the general entries, I mean. Okay, you cannot pass the general entries of this and this. Why? Because there are no buyback happening. Clear? Fine. So we'll do the equation calculation. As usual, you all know it's really simple and straightforward. Equity share capital plus premium is equal to equity share cap, uh, shareholders, right? Rupees 10 is the face value, 20 is the premium on buyback, 30 rupees is the buyback price. So 10 rupees into 3.75, see here, 3.75 is the number of shares we are uh, buying back, right? So into 10, so that's equal to 37.5 and then uh, into 20, yeah, to calculate the premium that's equal to 75 crores, right? In total that's equal to how much? 112 something, wait, let me just see. 75 plus 37.5 yeah 112.5 crores okay that's how much will be paid to equity shareholders fine so there is no fresh issue in the question yeah no issue of any redemption uh, sorry any preference shares and then here the first step that you need to do is this one writing of the premium on buyback okay so premium on buyback is 75 crores so you will utilize the securities premium in securities premium in the question you have how much 90 crores right that's the first priority. Always remember, huh? here the first priority is for securities premium to write off the premium on buyback. Okay, so securities premium, you have 90, 90 crores. So you can utilize 75 crores out of that. If it is not enough, then you will move on to the actual free reserve, general reserve or PNL balance. There is no priority in general reserve and PNL. It's, you know, you can do whatever you like. Fine. And then after this, uh, you have to replace the capital that is by maintaining the CRR. So you have to create the CRR of how much? 37.5 crores, right? And the free reserve that you can utilize is GR or PNL, both are fine. But the study mat has done GR, so you will use GR, okay? But in reality, there is no any priority over there. But what the study module is doing in the questions, that's what you need to follow. Clear? Just general reserve is 240. Of course, you can take 37.5 crores out of that and you have done that, right? And then comes the journal entries, which are very simple. You already know. I don't need to explain you the journal entries. Okay. See here, the journal entries are very simple. Uh, first, the due entry, equity share capital account, debit. Yeah, you are cancelling of the capital by debiting it. 
yeah 37.5 premium on buyback account debit 75 you are recording the loss that you are bearing the company is bearing the extra money that is being paid to the equity shareholder 75 crores okay to equity share buyback account 112.5 crores here you are crediting a personal liability account okay to the shareholders you are accepting as a company that we have to pay we have to pay money is due how much 112.5 crores liability is increasing so you are crediting that and then second entries you need to write off the premium on buyback uh, here it is debited you have to make an equal credit over here to premium on buyback 75 and then the debit will be securities premium because you have utilized securities premium right 75 crores fine being premium on buyback written off then you have uh, to create crr you have created crr out of general reserve so general reserve is reducing and crr is increasing both are reserves both have credit balances if reserves increases you have to credit so to capital redemption reserve account credit okay 37.5 and the debit would be general reserve because general reserve is being reduced by how much 37.5 crores simple and straightforward and then at last you'll be making off the payment that is equity share buyback account debit yeah here it was credited now liability was increased here you are extinguishing the liability liability is being reduced over here so you have to make an equal debit here credited credited here it is debited okay to bank account 112.5 crores 12 112.5 crores being payment made to equity shareholders for buyback clear simple and straightforward now in the study mat what they have done now i have to clarify understand in the study mat what they have done is see here here i have the the copy uh, what they have done is they have combined these two entries these two entries now they have combined they have not used premium on buyback account if you see the solution in the ICA study mat they have taken a shortcut actually but it's not better to take a shortcut expand the entries and show it two separately they have combined these two entries yeah they have not just opened the premium on buyback directly they have debited this securities premium over there okay see here equity share capital account debit securities premium account debit directly and then see here then equity share buyback account is credited okay this is the entry it's not different pages you can see yeah debit debit and a credit fine so they have taken a shortcut just in four entries their job is over but it's better to show properly uh, all the entries okay not four entries they have just done three entries just three entries okay you have to show all the four entries properly in expanded form clear simple and straightforward that's all if you have any doubts then comment down below and you can also message me on instagram okay just take a picture and ask your doubts specifically right so that's it that's it for this video see you in the next video bye